So, in this video, we're going to start looking at a new peripheral, the uh, AVR UART. And this is very useful for simple serial communications, um, often with other embedded devices, but also sometimes to talk to the computer, um, to send uh, quite often useful as, a, as an additional debug channel. So, we start with a new project for our microcontroller, which is the Mega 328P. And first thing we'll do is go to the data sheet um, to the UART. And a brief overview of the UART, we can see that there's um, a TX and RX pin. Um, this is if we implement just a simple two-wire UART interface. So for the receive pin, we will see a shift register clocking into a data register, and there'll be some control logic which we'll set up in the control registers. And then for transmitting, there'll be also a data register. We put a byte in here and it gets shifted out um, the, through the transmit shift register. Okay, so let's just scroll down until we, well, you can see that um, board rate calculation is quite important, but notice that when we have a look at the initialization example code here in the data sheet, that they have some very nice useful macros to calculate this automatically. So I'm going to paste this in directly. Remember from some of the earlier videos that we are running at a clock frequency of 16 megahertz and that this macro should calculate automatically the correct board rate register. Um, so well, let's use this example code here for the UART in it, and then we'll have a look at it to understand it. Okay, so remember that we've just called, uh, made a function UART in it. We're going to have to call that in main as well with um, our variable, the myUBRR, uh, based on our macro. Okay, so uh, let's have a look and understand what this does. So let's go to the status register B. Uh, the board rate registers here, high and low, those are filled in automatically by this macro and the calculation there. But the status register B um, So here we can see that there's the TX enable and the, well, the RX and the TX enable, and then the status register C, we have set something called USBS0, and you can see that this is about the stop bit. So the fact that we've written to this bit is, sets two stop bits opposed to one, we just want to use one stop bit as a standard form, and to understand what UCS00 does, we can see over here that we have set three, which means these two bits, and that corresponds to eight bit data. Okay, so that's our UART in it. So let's try and figure out how we would have to receive and transmit something. So let's start with receiving something. And again, we have some example code here, and we're gonna just copy this as is. And notice that some of the mega devices have more than one UART, so the example code here is unspecific of this UART number, so we just change this to the specific UART that we, we're using, and the data rate register as well. Okay, so that's a simple function to receive, and notice that it, it, it returns a char. So now we're going to have a look at the transmit. And again, just look for the example code. Copy to our clipboard. And again, just update the UART numbers. Okay, so 
we want to transmit a character. So we're going to start with that in main in our while loop. Dot transmit. And what are we going to transmit? Something which returns a character. So you are to receive. And so this effectively completes a loop back. Now if I go to my device manager on the computer, I can see that I have the embedded debugger on COM55. And if I view my terminal window, which I've installed, I can connect to COM55 and I have a loopback working.